Hello, and welcome to another segment of Bench Warmers, a special playoff edition. As you can see, we're in a different location. In no way is this because the lights are turned off where we usually shoot. I'm here again with Mitch Calvert, and we're going to talk Sabres hockey, and they're taking on the Sioux Lookout Flyers. Mitch, what's the keys to the Sabres taking on the Flyers in round one? Well, I think the key is not to take them lightly. Obviously, you can point to a game back on January 27th where they uh, lost to the Flyers here on this very ice surface, 7-4. to four. And uh, I think the Sabres are obviously quite an improved team from that day. They've filled out their roster a bit, and uh, I don't think they're going to let it happen again. But at the same time, you don't want to go into the series thinking you got it wrapped up because uh, you'd be in for a rude awakening. But uh, the keys are obviously to have strong goaltending, which they've had all year from Ryan Farragher. And this team's kind of built out from the net, and their, their defensive six is really strong. They gave up the second least amount of goals in the SIJHL this season. So if they uh, keep... Uh, good care of their own end first they should do all right right and uh if they do beat the flyers which is likely in uh five games here five game series they probably go on to play the thunder bay bearcats well they do play the thunder bay bearcats not only talked before you don't want to get into predictions but i'm going to call you out on it uh any prediction at all as to what's going to happen in the next two rounds three rounds maybe the whole sijhl well, I think if the uh, the Sabres can get on a good roll here, they'll be, uh, you know, they'll have their legs for the next series, and the Bearcats are going to have two weeks off. And uh, depending on how they respond, it might be a good thing because they'll be rested. But on the other end, they could be a little rusty too. So if the Sabres jump on them early, kind of deflate the Bearcats, they could have a chance in a, in a long series. But uh, on paper, the Bearcats are a superior team, and they've proven that lately. Just a uh, scoring machine, really. They, they got nine goals against the Flyers on Sunday. And uh, Miller... Tyler Miller for Francis. Just missed out on the top 10, actually. I don't know if that Maybe. was your prediction, but I did predict he ten. ended up 11th, and uh, not bad, of course, when you come in midseason. But uh, yeah, it should be a good series. Regardless, this place will probably be uh, sold out for the two guaranteed home games that the, uh, the Sabres will have, and that's about as much of a prediction I'm going to make. Well, I'm going to be a little bit bolder than that. Uh, I know they haven't played well against the, Bear or the Sabres, but Scriber is a team I'm looking at as – surprising some people i think they'll do fine against the ice dogs and i think they might give fort william a little bit of a run for their money i wouldn't be surprised to see them in the final round of the sijhl playoffs that's just my prediction so i'm saying uh the the diesels and between bearcats and sabers well a little conflict of interest for me given yeah. that my my cousin plays for the bearcats but uh we'll see what happens but i am gonna pick scriber to go to the final round i got nothing to lose yeah, uh, uh, Scriber, uh, the Sabres have had their number, obviously 9-1 and one against them this year, and uh, even Dryden beat uh, Scriber on Saturday and going into this series. So if that's a sign of things to come, your prediction could be uh, dead wrong, to say the least. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. You know, they have, uh, they have some speed. Their defense is a little undersized. Well, they got a couple tall, tall guys up front, but uh, the Sabres, for whatever reason, seem to just dominate them all season long. And... Uh, well, we'll see. Scriber and Dryden is probably going to be a good series. I can't see them getting by the North Stars, though. The North Stars are a really deep team and have proven that all year long.